Okay, in this video, we're going to deploy one of the Azure ARM templates from PowerPop Health and then show you what gets deployed and how you can then go run the data factory packages to go get the public data and pull it into Azure Data Lake. So for this example, we're going to use the ARM template from Geography Data. So you can see here we're at the landing page for PowerPop Health. We go to Geography Data. We have here the ARM Geography. Uh, file, which is a JSON file. Go ahead and click on that. You can just copy this code right here. But before we do that, I am going to go ahead and navigate to the Azure ARM template uh, deployment link. So I'll put this link in the video description. It's also uh, called out in the documentation for PowerPop Health. I will go ahead and copy that link. Let's move to a web browser. And once I'm signed in, it will take me to a page where I can then deploy a template. So let's go back to where we highlighted that code from the JSON file for the uh, ARM template for geography. Let's copy that. Let's go to build your own template in the editor. Let's paste that code in. Hit save. Now here's where you're going to enter in the information specific to your Azure subscription. So first of all, you'll have to pick the subscription that you want this to be billed to and that you're using to run it. Secondly, you'll choose the resource group. In this case, it will be uh, the Big Adventure Works. And then we will choose the data factory name. Uh, now I previously, uh, recorded a video showing how to deploy a data factory uh, to Azure. Um, you can use that data factory that you created and it will deploy the data factory content uh, to that data factory. In this case, my data factory is test delete 123453. Go ahead and enter that in. Then your data lake account key for this, I will navigate to my data lake that I'll be using for this content. And under settings, you can see you have the option to pull up your access keys. And when you show that key, you can copy it. I'm going to blur that out for the video so nobody can use my data lake. Always remember, not your keys, not your data lake. Once I've copied that key, I can come back to the ARM template deployment page, enter in that key value, then you'll see here that I've pre-populated the data lake name with just a generic your data lake. For this instance, we're actually using test lake delete. But you'll see the rest of that URL remains the same. That's just routing to a Azure data lake. Let's go ahead and hit review and create. Validation passed. Create. You'll see deployments in progress and the deployment has completed. So we can now go view the content, which has been added to both the data factory and then run that data factory and push it to the data lake. So if I go up to my data factory and click on author and monitor, let's go to the authoring view. Let's take a look at the pipelines. Let's expand the data sets. And you'll see now within this data factory, we have the get FIPS file pipeline. And if we just take a look at that and see what it's doing, it's picking up the data from the FCC, which is going to be the FIPS uh, geographical mapping file, and it's dropping it in the FIPS uh, raw file sync data set. Now, if we go to our data lake, test lake delete, and we navigate to the containers, go into PowerPop Health, you'll see as of right now, there is no geographical data uh, or FCC data sitting in this data lake. So let's go back to our Azure Data Factory. Let's go ahead and run that package. We can monitor the status over here on the left. Let's refresh. And we'll see that the entire package took seven seconds to run. 
if I now go back to the data lake and I refresh what's in there, you'll see we now have a FIPS file with the FIPS raw data uh, in that data lake. So that's it. You just take the ARM template, paste it in. When it gets to the setup page, enter in the name of your data factory and your data lake, deploy it, and then go run the data factory packages, and you've got all the data in Azure sitting in a data lake ready to use.